Hey, welcome back to my channel. I was not planning on doing a video this week. Um, I am just <laughs> up to my eyeballs. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is this going to get done? Probably in the, you know, 11th hour, but it, it's a lot to relocate. And um, today is Wednesday around 1 p.m. And we have the movers coming to load our pods Friday afternoon. So it gives us the rest of today tomorrow beginning of friday to get everything packed i had some good friends come and help me with the kitchen you know how much work that is we're throwing out tons of stuff we have our handyman here now he's got a huge trailer he loads it up and he hauls it all to the dump for us and he's probably going to do two to three dump runs if that tells you how much stuff we have we are throwing away so much stuff because we just can't take it all with us and we've accumulated it for 29 years of marriage 11 years being here in North Carolina. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. If you're new here, please don't watch this. I don't normally look this bad. Um, I'm rough. But okay, so here's why I wanted to do a quick video. We came out with the new Shades of the Season. Q4 Shades of the Season. They just arrived. And I'm like, how can I not show people what they look like? Okay. Now, I did order Sunshine State. Hold on. My glasses are filthy. I did order Sunshine State, which is not as... Um, color of the season. I think it was a year ago, maybe in 2022. And they've made it a permanent color. So if you don't know Sunshine State, and I'm going to tell you who this can work for, um, just so you're not looking at it and going, well, so what? What does that mean to me? Okay. This is Sunshine State. It doesn't want to, here we go. So, oh, it's sticking to the top. Oh, isn't that cute? I hate when that happens. See how it's stuck? Look at that. So where Hollywood is a beautiful warm pink or a beautiful bright pink with gold shimmer in it, Sunshine State is a kind of a, like a berry tone with the gold shimmer in it. And so it's beautiful. It's, it's glossy. So it's got, it gives you that beautiful gold sheen, but it's got the kind of berry undertones. Who does this work for? Springs and autumns. And because it's the gloss formula, if you're oily, you're not going to need that. I rarely wear glosses anymore. I like them, but the satins just are so pretty. Or, you know, I love Demi as blush, but I wanted you to see that because it is very, very pretty. But that would be for your springs and summers who look good in gold accessories. Okay, we have Tiny Dancer. Let's see. Why do none of these want to come up? Okay, so Tiny Dancer is this light pink. I mean, I could see that on someone with fair skin, a summer, Tiny Dancer, and of course I can't read. They've got to, they got to stop this. I have readers on and I cannot read that and I have a bright light and I cannot read any of it. Uh, it it's an, okay. So do you see, it's like a really light sheer pink. This would be really pretty on that kind of inner cheek. Okay, look at that. See, look at this, my normal skin, and then look at that. Couldn't you see that? And you could go a little under the eyes with it, and instead of using the pink powder that everyone in the world on TikTok is doing, pink powder under the eyes to brighten the under eyes, you can bright, brighten the under eyes with a little bit of this. You could even use it, you know, in the center of the lips to make them look more pouty, but do you see how it's kind of a cool light pink? I mean, maybe a spring could pull this off with a warmer blush, but to me, that's a true summer. Possibly even a winter. If you are winter and you're more yellow or olive and you want that beautiful light pink, but again, you want to treat it. It's not a highlighter, it's cheek lip, but you almost want to treat it like a highlighter. Like you would put it on the inner cheek, maybe the top of your cheek, and then you could do a deeper blush down here. You could do under the eyes, 
brow bone, you know, and it's just going to give you that beautiful brightening if you have more sallow or golden skin. Very pretty. I don't know that I'll wear it a lot, but I'm, I'll do it in a video for you coming up because I want you to be able to see it. Okay. Um, do I have, I have wipes. They just showed up. The male, the male lady just dropped these off and I thought, okay, I'm going to show you all real quick. I know I'm a mess. I know I'm not glamorous, but it's just so you can kind of see real quick what they look like. The shades of the season. Okay. Next one. Let's see if we can get our glasses on. Tango. Oh, so pretty. So if you are, if you, if you're a summer or spring, maybe even an autumn who likes clear colors and not earthy colors, really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, that's over the pink. I got the pink on there. I love this tango. I think I'll wear this a lot. It looks like my type of color. There we go. It's like a soft coral rose. There's definitely some rose in there, but it's also corally. I'd say it's like a coral rose. And it's sheer, do you see? And I put it on sheer. We could put it on heavier. But again, that's a gloss. That's, a glo that's our gloss formula. So it's gonna be more sheer. Let's see. Super cute. Might even wear this today so I'm not so scary. We'll let that calm down a little bit because I just rubbed it into my face. So my face is gonna, we'll let that calm down. I just rubbed it in, but that's Tango and it is a gloss and it's kind of a warm rose almost with a little coral in it, okay? I'm most excited for Ever Red. More, most excited for Ever Red. Oh, look at that. I know my nails are atrocious. So I'm going to go get them done when I, I just need to get to Nashville and then I'll go get my nails done. Cause they're, they're atrocious. Okay. Okay. Ready? Oh my gosh. This is ever red. Gorgeous. Is that a gloss too? Or is this satin? It doesn't say, and if it does, I can't read it. Saint, we need bigger labels. This is ridiculous. That's really pretty. Let's see it on lips. <gasps> mm -hmm. Great with a lip liner. <gasps> yes. If you want a berry red, looks great. Okay, see how Tango's toned down now because the blood was rushing to my face so it was looking crazy that is tango this ever red's really pretty really pretty would work great for winters possibly in autumn if you like a berry lip I would do a warm lip pencil with it though, because it could go more blue or it could go more earthy. I would do an earthy lip pencil with it. Really pretty. It's a little bit deeper than Ruby and not as bright as Ruby. That's ever red, so pretty. And then, there it is, okay. And then let's do This is one, I put so many women in this color when it first came out back in 2021. I'm so glad they brought it back, Spellbound. Do you, remember, do you have Spellbound? Let me know if you have Spellbound. Looks dark, right? So pretty, watch this. That is a beautiful, earthy plum or earthy berry and it's a satin see how it's not super shiny so i feel like this is our only satin we came out with for q4 this color was one of those no-brainers i could put everyone in not everyone but you know like women who like a deeper lip mm. Mm. 
that would be amazing with kind of a more naked eye and a deep lip liner. And then um, let's see what it looks like. I packed up, I think my saint brushes are all packed up, but let's do, you can put it on sheer, even though it's a satin that is so pretty. I would even do it as an underpainting. So what I would do is I would maybe put the Spellbound on and then take your main highlight and kind of go around the edges. That is so pretty. That is just like a beautiful, kind of a sheer berry, but not really sheer. I'm just putting it on lightly. Cause look, that's not sheer on my lips. That's a satin. So there we have Tango, which has more luminosity to it because it's a gloss and it's kind of a warm rose kind of a coral rose but warm and then this is the spellbound which i love this okay so spellbound would be beautiful on summers on winters autumns i just don't think spring can pull it off now i'm a spring but i'm wearing gray and i've got gray in my hair and i look like a hag so I think it's kind of pretty, but I'd like to do a full face in it to really show you the potential. Really pretty, love it. Okay, so let's go down the line. Okay, we already know what Sunshine State looks like. I'm not gonna swatch that, that's so pretty. It's a sheer berry with gold in it. Good for people who love gold accessories, warm colors, but they need something deeper than Hollywood. Hollywood is a little too pink and they want something deeper, okay? So then we have the, that's Ever Red, that's Ting. Okay, so here we have Tiny Dancer. It is kind of ballet pink, isn't it? Okay. It's cool. Do you see that coolness to it? It's looking a little mauvey purple on me because I have some yellow in my skin. We talked about who that could work for. It could work for someone with fair skin who wanted more of a pink, a blue pink apple. You could even use it as a highlighter, right? I'm just playing with it real quick. But you could use it as a highlighter for people who like that soft, light, cool blue pink, okay? That's not for everyone. That's To me, this says summer. Possibly some springs if you wanted to mix it with a warm, but this is a summer person, okay? Then we have Tango. Holy moly, do I love Tango. Hold on, I need a wipe. Oh, I'm so exhausted, I'm so exhausted. Okay, so now we've got Tango, and this is a gloss. So pretty. Do you see that? It's like a, it's like a warm rose, maybe pinch of coral in there. But remember, it's it's a gloss formula, so it's gonna have more of a sheen. Okay. Ever red. I cannot wait to wear this with like a deep red pencil and like a more of a naked eye. Think like Isabella Rossellini from the 90s. I love it. It's kind of a sheer blue red. And depending what lip liner you wear it with, it could really be like a deep, deep berry, or you could brighten it up and make it more of a cherry red. Really pretty and would be very pretty on the cheeks especially on deeper skin or fair skin. And then my very favorite Spellbound, let me know in comments if you had Spellbound from 2021, I haven't seen it since. I love Spellbound, I love it on brunettes. It's gorgeous if you have dark hair, dark eyes. It's gorgeous on a summer who needs that kind of like blue plum undertone. Look, so pretty. We can see how pretty it is on the cheek. It's like a true plum. 
And you could also take a little bit of your foundation and go over it and do an underpainting. So there you have it. Those are the shades of the season. And I'm excited about them. I'm excited about fall. I know I owe everyone um, some more videos on seasonal makeup. Next up, I'm going to do summer. Maybe I'll even show how you could do spellbound if you're a summer, but anyone can wear this. I love spellbound. I don't think it's probably the greatest color for springs and I'm a spring, but again, I don't look spring today because my hair is a mess. You see a lot of gray. I'm wearing gray here. Um, I really don't have jewelry on for the most part, so don't think it's probably my top color for me, but Boy, do I love, Spellbound's one of my favorite colors we make because it's so universal for so many women. Look at that. And it's our only one we came out with that is um, a satin. Okay, everyone. God loves you. I love you. Thank you for the prayers. I'm really feeling it. We still need to sell the house here in North Carolina. So continued prayers with that. And pray that we get everything into, we have one and a half pods. We pray it all gets in. We're not taking furniture. We're not taking appliances. We're just taking beds, one headboard, a couple nightstands, my daughter's dresser. Like we're really not taking much, but we have lots and lots of boxes and just boxing up this room, my studio, because even my whole TikTok life is like 40 brands of makeup and skincare and probably more like 60. So it's just massive boxes, massive totes and crates, massive um, storage drawers in this room. And so we're just praying it all gets loaded. It's gonna arrive in Nashville next Saturday. So we're not even gonna have any of our stuff for a whole week. Um, it's just all really stressful, you know? But this too shall pass. This will pass and, and then we'll, we'll be glam and pretty again, okay? So thanks for putting up with tired, haggard Michelle. You're my true audience. You're my true community. We are the look good close up club. Just don't get too close up to me right now because it's scary. <laughs> Bye for now.